Welcome back, everyone. Bitcoin is looking increasingly bullish. Now, why is that? The last couple of videos we talked about what would transpire if we do end up going down. Anyway, well, that didn't end up playing out. And one of the primary reasons here that we could take note of is what do you look at that? That low didn't end up breaking. We actually continue to make a higher low off of a higher high. What is that? That's bullish market structure. Now, this is the monthly time frame. Most importantly, at the beginning of none other than September, you heard everyone talking about how September is historically one of the worst months in, well, traditional markets, that is. So that means we have to be bearish for September. But it ended up being a green month. So that being said, now we are in October, which is a different tune. But once again, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that we are going to go up. But at least for the monthly time frame, overall objective for October is actually going to be getting really at the bare minimum back up to 30K. Uh, we need to see to get up to their weekly time frame. So today is Monday. Ideally for the week, what we want to see end up happening is getting a closure above pretty much this high over here. This is at 29 6 so 29 7k 29.7k is where you want to get to on the weekly time frame right on over here and then switching over into the four hour time frame so we'll consider this the daily as well what we have previously talked about here is you can see is we have this one green box over here pretty much the range of this is between about 28.7k and 29.1k so that being said this is the area where you would get rejected from. If we're able to slice through there, then the area that we want to see daily open and a daily closure above is going to be 29.3K. That is going to be right on over here. I'll try and get 0.3. There you go. That purple line. That is exactly where you want to see that daily open and closure above. Should you be able to do that? With daily open and closure above there, that should give us an indication that we should be able to start moving a little bit higher from there. And then that we would actually be able to take out that 20 or not 20, uh, 30.2, 30.3K area, right where about my cursor is at. Now, if you were to come back on down at all, let's say like for a potential retest, you could honestly look for this green box again. But if you were to go down a bit lower, you would honestly be looking for really right around here which is a range between about 27.3 to 27.1K, 0.1K, whatever. Uh, clear or white box, whatever. But um, overall, yeah, that's kind of what you're looking for. Overall, you are seeing that you are in this short-term uptrend, or I mean, like overall, you still technically are maintaining uptrend, but regardless, uh, you do need to see kind of like follow through this time with a push up here. If you end up making a lower high here, like at any point, then um, it's not going to be too cash money, but we ultimately need to take out this high for a continuation towards the upside. Then should we get more continuation towards the upside? You really could be looking for uh, anywhere to 36K or higher, which that in itself is, let's see, 36K gets us up about 27%. We'll round down and just say 25% at the least. So other than that, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.